Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem. If A plus B plus C equal to 180 degrees or if ABC are angles of a triangle, then prove that cos square A plus cos square B minus cos square C equal to 1 minus 2 sin A sin B cos C. Now we can solve this problem in more than couple of methods. So we will try to solve it in two different methods. The first method what we will do, we will try to convert this cos square a by using the cos 2a formula as 1 plus cos 2a by 2, 1 plus cos 2b by 2 and 1 plus cos 2c by 2. Then we will apply the transformation from sum to product. So let us go ahead and write down our first step will be is equal to cos square a can be written as 1 plus cos 2a by 2 cos square b can be written as 1 plus cos 2b by 2 minus cos square c can be written as minus 1 plus cos 2c divided by 2. Let us simplify that. We will have 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 then minus 1 by 2 plus cos 2a by 2 plus cos 2b by 2 minus cos 2c by 2. Now let us try to take simplification and try to get 1 by 2 common. We will have 1 by 2, 1 by 2 cancel. We will have 1 by 2 plus half into bracket. We will have cos 2a plus cos 2b minus cos 2c. Now once we come to this particular step, we will go back and see what we need to prove. We need to prove 1 minus 2 sin a sin b cos c. So we see cos c. So we will try to work here to get cos c out first. For that what we will do? We will apply transformation on this first two terms. We will write it as half plus equal to half plus half into now, what is cos 2a plus cos 2b? It is equal to 2 into cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b minus cos 2c. Now, since we need cos 2c, we will write it as 2 cos square c minus 1 so that we can take cos c common. So, let us go to the next step. Then, we have here cos a plus b. Now we need to get cos c. For that what we will do? We will go back to a plus b plus c equal to 180 and we will try to find out what is cos of a plus b. So what is a plus b? a plus b equal to 180 minus c. Now what is cos of a plus b? Cos of a plus b equal to cos of 180 minus c. But we know that cos of 180 minus theta is minus cos theta. So cos a plus b is equal to minus cos c. Now with that we can come back and we can write down that is equal to half plus half into we will have. We know cos a plus b is now minus cos c. So we can write down minus 2 cos c. Then we have cos of a minus b and we have minus 2 cos square c when we open the bracket we have minus 2 cos square c plus 1. So let us go to the next step. Now let us simplify what we have here inside the bracket. So that will be 1 by 2 plus. Now we have 1 by 2 into 1 that will be 1 by 2. Then we have 1 by 2 into minus 2 so that I can write it as minus cos c cos a minus b. Then we will have 2 2 will cancel we get again minus cos c. So in the next step we can take 1 by 2 simplify this we have 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 then we can take minus cos c common 
then we will have cos of a minus b plus cos c but 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1 we have minus cos c into we know that cos of c is equal to minus of cos of a plus b that we have did that we did some time back so we can leverage that now let us simplify this we will have 1 minus cos c into what is the formula for cos of a minus b minus of cos a plus b that will be 2 into sin a into sin b so our final answer will be 1 minus 2 sin a sin b cos c this is one way of solving the problem in which what we did we have written cos square a as 1 plus cos 2 a by 2 cos square b as 1 plus cos 2 b by 2 and cos square c equal to 1 plus cos 2 c by 2 after that we leverage it that cos a plus b is minus of cos c we looked at the answer what we want we need cos c so we have to, we try to get cos c common then after that we were able to apply transformation and get 1 minus 2 sin a sin b cos c. Now let us try to solve the same problem in any in another method. In the other method, we will take cos square a minus cos square c as one unit. Then we will just write it as plus cos square b. Now what is cos square a minus cos square c do we have any formulas for that if we try to get a recap we know that sin a plus b into sin of a minus b is equal to sin square a minus sin square b but that is also equal to cos square b minus cos square a now you can see that we have cos square a minus cos square c that means our b is a now and our a equal to c let us use that formula leverage that formula so we can write it as cos square a minus cos square c is equal to sin of c plus a into sin of c minus a then we have plus cos square b now our logic is what is c plus sin of c plus a let's try to identify that then we will see how to write the last one let's write down a plus b plus c equal to 180 degrees we are interested in a plus c so a plus c equal to 180 minus 180 minus b if i apply sin sin of a plus c equal to sin of 180 minus b and we know in second quadrant sin is positive so that will be sin b so sin of a plus c is equal to sin b and we can also see that we need sin b here so we have to write it in such a way that we get sin here so what we will do we will write down cos square b as 1 minus sin square b that will be help us to take sin b common now we know sin c plus a is sin b so can i write down 1 plus sin b into sin c minus a minus sin square b now let us take sin b common there then we will have sin b into sin of c minus a minus of sin of b but we know sin b equal to sin of c plus a so why can't we write down that that will be 1 plus sin b into sin of c minus a minus of sin of c plus a or can we go to the next step take minus out so that we can simplify this in our next step what we will do we will take minus out so we will have 1 minus sin b into sin of c plus a minus of sin of c minus a now we know this formula is like sin c minus sin d so for that we will have 1 minus sin b into let us simplify that we will have 2 
sin c minus sin d is 2 cos c plus d by 2. So, let us write down the 2 cos c plus a plus c minus a by 2 into sin of c minus d by 2. So, that is c plus a minus c plus a divided by 2. Now, when we simplify, we will get 1 minus sin b into bracket. We will have a and a cancel. 2c by 2 is cos c. Similarly, c and c will cancel. 2a by 2 is a. So, we will have sin a. So, the final step will be that is equal to 1 minus 2 sin a sin b cos c. So, these are the two ways how we can solve the problem. In one problem, we have converted cos square a into multiple angle, write it as 1 plus cos 2a by 2. In the second approach, we have leveraged the, leveraged the formula that sin a plus b into sin a minus b equal to sin square a minus sin square b that is also equal to cos square b minus cos square a. So, these are the two ways how we can solve this particular problem. Please do let me know your feedback. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.